Violence in Baltimore is not let up with police responding to several shootings across the city today. And more money is coming to serve warrants and prosecute repeat violent offenders. WJZ investigator Mike Kelgren live at City Hall with new reaction from the mayor. Mike. Vic, the mayor says bring on this additional funding that it will be helpful, especially when it comes to serving warrants on these repeat violent offenders. At least 22 people have been killed in Baltimore just this month. No, I don't feel safe. And why? Why is it so unsafe? Because. Really, no one's doing anything about it. Sarah Dixon heard the sadly familiar sounds of gunfire coming from the Bell Park Tower apartments not far from Pimlico. I mean, how many shots did you hear? I heard four. And it happened in the middle of, middle of the day? Middle of the day. I didn't see what happened, but I heard it. And then when I came out here, they had taken the guy away in the stretcher, and then they, they actually caught the shooter. Police confirmed they took a person of interest into custody. The victim in the case has died. A few hours later, someone shot a man who escaped onto a roof on Harford Road. The victim reportedly jumped out of a window to get away. I think it comes down to more, more police around here. Actually getting to getting these guns off the street. It comes one day after Governor Larry Hogan pledged $45 million to fight violent crime, including money for new federal prosecutors and to serve more warrants. Do you think the things the governor announced yesterday with the extra state and federal help will really make a difference in the city? Well, yes, I do, because I asked for them. Uh, these are the things that I asked and spoke with the governor about over a few months ago. We know uh, that uh, our warrant apprehension task force has been out there doing great work, and now having the state uh, be a deeper partner of that is going to benefit not just the city, because they do it around the region. Now, police did make an arrest in an attempted murder in southwest Baltimore yesterday where a man was shot in the face. Both homicides and non-fatal shootings are up over last year in Baltimore. Live at City Hall, Mike Helgren, WJZ.